Hi, I'm Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach, and I have been waiting and waiting to show you the newest member of the Compass all-wheel drive family. This is the 24KB. You are going to love the interior layout. You're going to love the amount of storage, and you're going to love traveling in an RUV. So what does that mean? Well, that means you can take it anywhere. It's a recreational utility vehicle. Recreation, yep, because you can have a lot of fun. Utility, because you have a lot of storage, you can take anything you want with you. And V, it's a vehicle. It's actually an awesome vehicle to drive. And what I like about driving the Compass, especially a, a motorhome of this size, is this is something you can take. I'm gonna give you the perfect example. I was on vacation in Petoskey, Michigan, and they have this downtown area that is, it's like a beer garden and there are food trucks and just the sights and the sounds, it's a place you feel you have to be there. So we're walking around and we're having fun. We had to ride our bikes into town, which is a whole different story. If you've ever talked to a local campground owner, like, oh, it's only a mile, it'll take you a half hour. And then it's like five miles and the bike breaks down. But anyway, it's a different story. So we got there and what did I see parked along the street right outside this amazing food cart? A compass, a compass all wheel drive. And I said, you know what? That's how you do it because you get whatever you need. If it's too hot or it's too crowded, you can come back to your compass. You can enjoy a meal. You can cook on your own. You can use the bathroom. It's such a great way to travel. What we're going to do first is head inside and show you this amazing new floor plan. I love this 24KB. Talk about a spacious floor plan. Now this is what it looks like with the slide wall in. Look at all the room you have. You can access the kitchen. You can sit on the sofa. You can access your fridge while you are on the road. You can use the bathroom. You have a north-south bed. That is super convenient. You're going to love the bed setup in here. A very, very popular setup. It is the twin to king conversion. We are going to give you a complete tour inside and out. We're going to show you how everything works, but I am impressed with the room in here. Head room, by the way, 80 inch interior height. So you have plenty of room to just roam about the cabin, live inside of your 24 KB. It helps though when you have this puppy opened up. So let's head over to Rapid Camp Plus and go ahead and get this started. So we're gonna walk through Rapid Camp Plus. We're gonna talk about the screens. We're gonna put the slides out. Do you know what we need to do to put the slides out? That's right, parking brake on, engine running. So let's fire this up. We'll talk about the engine when we do your little drive here. I love driving these things. These are one of my favorite motorhomes to drive. All right, so the engine is on. Let's go ahead and open up that slide wall. So that's gonna be your third icon down. Slides and awnings are on what's this page, and it's really easy to see what it says. So you're just gonna hit extend, and you're gonna hold down extend. Out goes your slide. And just, just look at all the room that this gives you. This completely opens up your living area, and it exposes the place for your table. We are gonna get your sofa set up with the table. We'll show you how it makes into a bed. It does so many things for you. Now that we have that, and let's go ahead and turn the engine off here and run through the rest of Rapid Camp Plus. So we're gonna start on your home screen. This is a quick look at your tank levels. You can control your lights from here, your climate. You can turn your water pump on. A lot of controls for climate on this. You're going to appreciate having that water pump. We'll show you how to turn your water pump on by pressing the water pump. Now, when you are not connected to city water, and we'll hook up your city water here in a little bit, you can use the water in your fresh tank. Now this does have tank heaters on it. Just press the tank heater button and your tanks will not freeze. This is also a great look at your tank levels, fresh, gray, and black. Right now they are all empty because this is a brand spanking new compass. The third icon down, again, slides and awnings. This is a one-touch awning. You press the button, the awning will come out. When we go outside for the exterior walk around, I'm gonna open that up for you using Rapid Camp on my phone, the mobile version. Third button down, climate. This is where you're going to control your AC, your heat. Do you want it on high speed? Do you want it on low speed? One thing to remember though, 
when you are setting your AC, you only have one 15,000 BTU AC on top of this. So on a very hot day right now, the ambient temperature is 91 degrees. So you do not want to set the temperature inside your coach more than 10 to 15 degrees below that because you will freeze the coil. So keep that in mind. Either set it early in the morning when it's still cool out or set it before you go to bed when the sun drops and the temperatures are cool. That way you won't freeze up your AC and everybody has an enjoyable time in their compass. Third button down is going to be your light. You can dim them. You can choose what ones you want on, whether it's the bedroom, the bathroom, the awning lights. There's lights in the cargo bays. We're going to show you all of that. Third button down is your generator. This is going to give you your auto gen start options. You can tap that and you go right into the settings. Do you want to go for our voltage? Uh, how long do you want it to run? How long do you want your quiet time? Depending on where you are at camp, you hit the center button. It takes you right back to the home screen and that's how you control your auto gen start. It is going to give you the voltage level in your coach and your chassis battery. And again, another quick look here at the levels in your propane tank. You can start and stop your generator from here as well as use the auto gen start. And you have a fan button for the kitchen and the bath vent fans. Down below are hard buttons. Because this is an Android tablet, takes a little bit to fire up. So there are hard buttons here, one, two, three, and four. And those just control different lights in the coach. So you can go ahead and turn them all on here. And then some quick buttons here for extend or retract for whether it's uh, the awnings or the slides, or if you want to just pair your phone. Real easy to do because when we go outside, we're gonna put out that awning. You just pair using Bluetooth. You go over until this says PA, you hit next, you hit the EXT button on your rapid camp that is going to flash and just like that you are now connected to rapid camp plus so you can use so the screen is mirrored here and here so you can use this anywhere outside or inside the coach if you're in the back you can adjust everything you can also connect to the cloud so as long as your compass has a wi-fi connection and your phone does you can upload or connect to the cloud and then you can control uh your lights and you can control your climate from no matter where you are. So it's a great way if you're out on a long adventure, like, oh, it's gonna be a little bit hot when we get back, you can set your uh, climate or you can even turn on the lights if you know you're gonna get past, past dark, all right? And then we'll talk about the awning light and how that's gonna help you and get back light. A lot of great features, but that is Rapid Camp Plus. As we work our way through here into the living area, why don't we start with this couch? looks like a sofa, right? It's, it's doing what sofas do. Need a place to sleep? Tell you what, real quick, it's a jackknife sofa. Easy up, easy down. Well, where are you, you going to eat dinner? Right here at the sofa. Right behind you, we have a table that locks into place. You have some cup holders here. And there are some table legs that are in the back. And while I am grabbing these tables and setting this up, I want you to take a look at this beautiful decor. You've seen this before. What's it called? Home collection. That's right. These beautiful white cabinets in here. Nice uh, residential flooring. Beautiful look. But maybe you want something a little more exotic. Maybe you're saying, you know what? I want something with an Italian feel. We have got you covered. Take a look at this. A couple of choices for you here. You have Silver Point and Tavertine. Now these are Technoform cabinets. Now these are an Italian design. Technoform's been around since 1965. Very, very popular in the marine and the RV industry. Very, very lightweight. They have the soft close hinges. Just a great look to them. That nice gloss that you see here. A lot of storage behind them. And because they are made for the marine and the RV industry, they are going to be durable and they are going to hold up like you wouldn't believe. So I grabbed the table legs. Real easy. You just go ahead and you set these up, lock them into place. They just twist and lock. Real easy to set up your table. And when you have this table in place, you will use this as maybe you want to use it as a mobile office. Maybe you want to get some work done. Maybe you want a good meal. And then there are two Look at that. Then you go over to the massive amount of storage you have behind these cabinets. Well, it's like somebody put plates in here. Who, who would have done that? Put your plates, you get your big bin of silverware, you set the table, remember, the fork left because the spoon and the knife were right. 
Remember that, and you will always set the table properly. But look at all the storage in these cabinets. You have your table set. Now it's time to cook a good meal. Maybe we are making toasted English muffins with honey glazed bacon and eggs in this amazing kitchen with all the features you could ever want when you are on the road. First of all, you have a lot of counter space. Maybe you're thinking, you know what? I need a little more counter space because I'm gonna put some toast here and I'm gonna put the cookbook over here. Look at this. Flip up countertop extension. So you just move your honey glazed bacon and eggs there. You got your sink. You have one of my favorite kitchen features. I know it's, it's the little things that mean a lot, right? This pop-up outlet. Before I pop it up, I wanna show you. Wireless charger on top this year. You move your salt and pepper shaker down and you set your phone right there. Now you have wireless charging. Or if you have a tablet and you wanna use that as a digital cookbook, you just pop this up, USB-A, USB-C, a couple of 110s right there. You can go ahead and plug something into here. You need more room. Well, we can do that for you with this sink cover, right? Or you just get it out of the way. You have this large single bowl sink. So a lot of counter space in the kitchen. Now let's get cooking because this calls for bacon slices, six, 12. Let's put the whole bag in there, right? You can either fry it up in a pan here on your dual burner gas cooktop. This does have electric start. You just hit light. You can hear it lighting. You do have to make sure your propane is on. We will show you how to do that when we head outside. Or maybe you want to air fry your bacon. Do you know this is a convection microwave and you can most certainly use this. This works in the same way that an air fryer does. You can fit a lot more in here. Uh, you can use it as a microwave to heat up a muffin. You heat up the English muffin. So a lot of great cooking options in here. The microwave, the convection microwave, you have the cooktop, so much storage. You have uh, the trash can down below, a number of drawers in here, all over the place, pots, pans, whatever. Uh, this here is a 12 volt refrigerator. You do have the top portion and down below, that's where you're gonna store all of your ice cream and frozen delights. And don't forget, and we'll talk more about power, empowering your coach when uh, we get outside, but your battery disconnect switch, you're gonna wanna turn that on, get that fridge refrigerating. As we work our way back, I do wanna point out the television. Yeah, you have some entertainment, in here as well. So if you want to watch TV, you can do that. Want to tune in the local channels or connect to cable, really easy to do. In this compartment here, there's a little switch in the back and here's a cable outlet there so you can plug in. And then uh, when that is, uh, there's a green light and then it's off and then you can switch it to either tune in the cable stations or tune in the local stations. You also have an HDMI plug back here. So if you have a gaming console or if you have a streaming device, you can connect that and then you can stream all your movies and you may be thinking, well, I'm, I'm camping, Steve. How am I gonna connect to the internet? Again, Compass has you covered with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. It sits on the roof. It is a nice, durable dome that is easy to access and easy for you to set up your own hotspot. All you have to do is set up a data plan through WineGuard. You can also use your favorite carrier, whatever you like. You pop that SIM card in, you type in your password, you go through the setup, and now you have one password hotspot, or you can tap into nearby Wi-Fi signals, and you can still use that same password once you get connected to the campsite or wherever it is you may be camping. So some great features there with the WineGuard Connect. Uh, another wireless charger over here, just kind of a train of thought here. So if you're sitting on the couch eating your meal, you can set your phone there, wireless charger. The beep means I'm a charging. And if you don't have wireless charging, because maybe you have an older device, and you don't always upgrade, I get that. There is a little tab here. You remove that USB-A and USB-C ports. And there's also a charging port on the other side with two USB-A. So that's a little bit larger, has a nice safety net. You know, maybe put a tablet in there or something else. So plenty of charging on board for everyone. As we work our way back into the bathroom here, there's a lot of room in this bathroom. The door locks here. I'll go ahead and just open this door real quick to, to show you, but you have plenty of privacy in here. Really, really spacious when you have these doors open like this. You have large medicine cabinet uh, up top, right over the toilet. That is a foot flush uh, toilet. You have your water heater in here, really easy to set 
set the temperature that you want. You can turn it on. This is also tankless hot water and something to go along with the tankless hot water that you are going to appreciate. You know how you, you get back and then you want to go get in the shower and then you stand there and then you, 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 you wait for the water to get warm and you're doing this and then you realize scientifically that doing this doesn't make the water hotter faster. Shower miser, check this out. You're gonna love this because what this little device does is you flip the handles here and that is gonna recirculate the water right until it gets to the temperature that you want. And then it's gonna change colors. It's gonna go from this blue to kind of like a bluish whitish type color. And then you boom, crack the valve. Now you have the hot water. It's gonna save the water in your fresh water tank because it's not going down the drain into your gray tank. It's just gonna circulate back in it's a great handy device to save water, especially when you are out dry camping and you're not connected to that city water. But remember, when you're not connected to city water, what do you do? You turn on your water pump, just like that. So the nice shower here, you do have the sink, you do have another medicine cabinet, your GFCI outlet is right there. So if something's not working, something tripped, check your GFCI, some light switches, and for your bathroom vent. So nice bathroom area. And as I close this, so I can turn around and open this. Nice closet space back here. We stored the table legs back here. There is a hanging rack. You want to throw your clothes in here. Number of drawers down below. Two drawers. Then down below here is your fuse box. You do have your household circuit breakers as well as your 12 volts. So if something is not firing up, head on back, check that. And again, you can see you can access that with the slides in because the slide is out. This is, this is fixed. So real easy to get to. And now we are into a wonderful bedroom setup. I love this bedroom setup. So this is going to be your twin to king conversion. So depending on how you want to sleep, if uh, maybe, maybe you need space, maybe that's the day you need space. So you got the two twins here and then there's a section you can slide right in the middle. Now you have a giant wall to wall bed. So much storage, one, two, three, four, five, six cabinets overhead. You do have reading lights. You can turn on and off with the press of a button. You do have outlets. You have a 12 volt port for a portable CPAP machine. If it's a 12 volt CPAP machine, you do have a Rapid Camp Plus remote. You do have the TV back here. You do have another HDMI. So same thing goes that happens to the TV up front. So a lot of great storage in sleeping inside your 24 KB. The other thing that I really like about this 24 KB is the driving experience. I'm gonna duck right under, uh, right before I get into the driver's seat, I do wanna show you, we talked about seating areas. These seats do swivel, all right? So you do have more than just the couch. You can have a couple of guests over and they can sit in the driver's seat. You can see they swivel and if they need a little more room for your leg, there are these wonderful seat cushions. They're comfortable and then you don't feel, you know, your legs aren't like that. You got a little more, it's a booster seat. Let's just call it what it is. It's a booster seat. I know you don't think, I don't need a booster seat. You may want it for this, and I think you, uh, you may appreciate it. You have a beautiful uh, skylight up above that you control here, so you want some natural light. You can go ahead and you can let in all the light, or you can close it at night. There are privacy shades for the windows, and you do have roller blinds all the way around. So let's hit in the driver's seat, because I love driving the Compass. You've heard me talk about this before, but oh. This is a beast of an engine. We're talking an EcoBoost twin turbo V6. Oh, listen to that, 310 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. That is perfect for doing what? Putting the hammer down. It's uh, tied to a 10-speed automatic transmission. I got this AC blast in here, so let me turn that off. And you do that all touchscreen. I'll get to the radio in a second. I want to I want to focus on where we are right now. But it's a 10-speed transmission. Foreign tune this. Uh, it's really quick off the line. This is actually a, 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 I'm, this is a fast motorhome. This thing scoots. You have a tow haul mode. You can shift the gears manually if you want. It is all wheel drive. You have different modes you can choose from, whether you want normal, whether you want eco, slippery, tow haul. Yep, it's got a tow haul mode for the 5,000 pound out, uh, hitch out back, mud and ruts. So a lot of different, a lot of different options for you depending on your terrain and safety features. This has just about everything you can think of. All right, we're talking adaptive cruise control, advanced track with roll stability control, sidewind stabilization, which 
the first time you get that, you're going to be like, what happened? And it's a great feature to have. You get into those windy situations, and you can feel the compass just kind of pull you back in the lane. I love having side wind stabilization, the auto beam headlights. Just turn it on auto, you're good. Hill start assist, your lane keeping system. Uh, Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So this is going to uh, help bring you to a stop in case you just kind of have one of those moments or someone pulls out in front of you. Uh, Post-collision braking, another it's a it's a fun feature. It's rain sensing windshield wipers. So when it starts to rain, the windshield wipers will automatically come on. You also have nine one one assist. The controls on here on the dash are unbelievable as well. Uh, you can do so many different things. You have your trip meters. Uh, you have a digital speedometer. You have driver's assist functions that you can get into and tweak from here, whether you want to turn things on, you want to turn things off, little display for your navigation. What are you listening to on the radio? You can connect a phone for Bluetooth, and then you can go in and change a number of settings. Uh, one setting I do want to talk about is the auto engine on and off. Some people hate it, some people love it. And I read a study, and it goes back a few years, and it involved two Toyotas, so take it for what it's worth, but they said, you start to save fuel anytime you're stopped for more than seven seconds. That, that was the study. So whether or not you want to use auto engine on or off, that is entirely up to you. Let's get into the SYNC 4. This system is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's hands-free calling, it's Bluetooth, it's Apple CarPlay, it's Android Auto. You can send and receive text, it'll talk to you. There's a little voice button on here, you press that, you tell it what you want it to do. Uh, you do have navigation uh, on here, but it's not RV specific navigation. But here's what's nice is because it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can choose the navigation of your choice or how about this road pass pro that is going to come free for a year with uh, your new compass purchase it's it's campendium it's road trippers it's rv village it's togo rv it's all of these apps in one we're talking you know it's going to give you uh, where you're going to get the best cell coverage from, where you can find free camping, reviews of parks. Uh, there's RV specific GPS navigation on here, and it's a great RV social network. If you are into that and you want to connect with other RVers, you're going to enjoy setting that account up. But as we go through, everything now is touchscreen. So if you want to turn on your air conditioner or your heat or your defroster, or you go through and change some of the settings. Um, you can add your phone, change the sound, the clock, change the display. You can also turn this into a vehicle hotspot. Ford allows you to do that with uh, Ford Pass. There's a valet mode, uh, Ford Assistant on here, uh, a number of different apps for you. You can find different mobile apps, so many different features. You do have a couple of buttons down below as well. If you want your max defroster, you can turn the radio on or off, the volumes down here. Cup holders in storage galore, even a port for your phone if you do need to connect it in order to use the Android Auto, depending on the version of your iOS or your Android system. Oh my gosh, this does everything you could want it to do on a trip. And once you get there, you are going to want to set up. So I'll tell you what, I am going to come right back out here. I'm going to kill the engine and I will meet you outside and we're going to set this compass up for some wonderful compass camping. So we talked about the powerful beastly EcoBoost under the hood. Let's talk about what's around that hood. Just a beautiful front end. You have your headlights, you have your fog lights down below, right up top, your one piece fiberglass front cap that goes from wing wall over to wing wall. You have your heated remote mirrors right here. The controls are inside, we talked about that. Inside this door, a couple of numbers you are going to want to know. Your occupant and cargo carrying capacity, 1,550 pounds, and the overall length on this is 25 feet 10 inches, and that is going to be bigger than any of the other compasses in the lineup because this has a 178 inch wheelbase. So that is going to be just over two feet longer than the other two floor plans in the lineup. So a little bigger, a little bigger wheelbase on this, but you saw all the room that we had inside, and we utilize that room when it comes to storage. The storage on this, mind blowing, gonna blow your mind. As we continue our walk down, 
Our entry door inside, we talked a little bit about Rapid, okay, we talked a lot about Rapid Camp Plus, didn't we? We talked about the 12 volt battery disconnect switch that is right here. Again, make sure this is on and stays on for the entire journey, all right, because this is gonna power all the 12 volt appliances, including that refrigerator in this compass, while you are away your light, so make sure that is on. We will show you how to plug in in just a couple minutes when we get over to the other side, but I wanna continue walking down the side of this compass here. We do have frameless windows for you. Those open up awning style, so they, they pitch out just like this, so you can get a lot of nice circulation under there. Uh, and these are actually framed with aluminum. The way we build our sidewalls on the compass here is we take the wallboard inside, the black foam insulation, the aluminum frame, and this is our HD Max. We'll talk about colors in just a second here. Uh, but this is the HD Max, and we put this fiberglass on the outside. We take all those pieces, and then we put them in really what's essentially like a, a giant food saver bag uh, for just kind of a mind reference and then they get uh, the adhesive on there they get together and then in that bag they get all the air sucked out then it sits in there for around a half an hour and builds just an absolutely durable wall and we do the same for the roof and for the floor the roof is actually a cross flex roof on this uh, it's a synthetic thermoplastic there is a nylon cross webbing in there which gives it its strength and that's that's the cross and cross flex so it's going to be easy to clean it's reflective and it is so durable and that's the nice thing so let's say that you are pulling into a campsite and there's a low-hanging branch and you bing, hit the tree and that happens right you don't see it it's not going to puncture on you, so it is a great, great roof. Let's dive into our colors. The red you see here, this is called Trade Route. Want blue? We got blue for you. Available on the HD Max, it is called Voyage Blue. I like the blue, but what if you want something a little different than blue? What if you want full body paint? We have two options for you. We're going to show you the one here. This is called Fiber Optic, and this is a full body paint. You are going to love the way this looks and shines up. And no matter what color you choose, every compass is backed by a 12-year structural, six-year lamination, and one-year limited warranty. That is going to be the best warranty in the industry. Continuing our tour, how about we start off with these 110 plugs. You can do a lot with these 110 plugs. Now you do need to be plugged into shore power, which we will do in just a few minutes, or have that generator running. And again, we showed you how to start that from Rapid Camp Plus. You can also start it using uh, the remote on your phone. So maybe you're blending up some drinks and it's just bright like it is now. It's sunny. You want shade. What do you do? You pull out your phone. All right. You pull up the Rapid Camp Plus app and you go straight to the awnings page. You swipe to unlock. This is going to be one touch, works just like it did on the inside. You just hit extend and the awning will come right out. The nice thing is, is when there is a gust of wind or inclement weather, there are sensors on the side and it will automatically go back in for you. We recommend that you put the awning in when you leave for camp for the day, and then when you want it back in, you'll go ahead and you will hit retract. So a one touch awning there. How about a little storage for you? right down here a nice storage bay right now this is where we have the 30 amp shore power plug what's nice is it's detachable so you can store it in any bay you want you may want to throw it in one of the other bays on the other side um and there's there's a lot of room on this now little just a little nickels worth of free advice because i've done a lot of rv trips and you have outlets here and this bay you're thinking well it's kind of tiny what am i going to fit in here little shop vac take a little shop vac with you keep that in here and then when sand gets inside from all the adventures of the day at the beach you just plug it in here and then you can go ahead and you can sweep out the inside of your compass uh, you do have exhaust for your furnace here just be aware of that down here is your exterior propane connection hook up a grill hook up a fire pit whatever you want we'll show you how to turn the propane on when we get over to the other side as we work our way back you do have your fresh water fill here. You just put the hose in and you turn it on. There's a little vent there. When it starts to trickle out of the vent, you know that your fresh tank is full. When we get over to our black tank and our gray tank and we talk about uh, draining those, we'll talk about our tank capacities. Now let's talk about storage. I'm gonna peek my head in here. This storage bay is huge. 45.4 cubic feet of storage. Look at this, this is pass-through. You know, you stay right there, Tom. I'm gonna open this bay. 
walk all the way up. I'm going to come all the way to the other side here. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all the storage in here. I mean, you can fit, and there are lights in here, so you can go ahead and uh, light them up. Just uh, so much storage on this. You can fit anything you want in here. And what you can't fit in here, you can fit on the 5,000 pound hitch. You do have your seven pin and you do have your four pin connectors right there. And remember, it is your GCWR, which is your gross combined weight rating. You will find that spec on ThorMotorCoach.com. And then you subtract that from your GVW, your gross vehicle weight. And that is how much your compass weighs when it is on the scale. You subtract it to the two, that's how much you can tell. Up top is the camera. Inside on the rear view mirror, it is always on. It is a fabulous feature. You're gonna love being able to see what is behind you at all times. You never have to press a button to turn it on. It always shows up in the rear view mirror. Let's walk around to the other side and get this compass hooked up. So this is the side I was poking my head through. Yeah, I just, just can't get over the amount of storage in this. Down below, you do have your propane. We talked a little bit about propane inside. You are going to need this for your hot water. What you wanna do is make sure that that is turned on for you uh, and you get it filled wherever you enjoy getting your propane filled. Also, it's regulated connection. So we showed you the exterior propane connection. If you're not getting the gas flow that you like, just make sure that the regulator is off of the device you have plugged in, not here, all right? And it's a new tank, so the first time you use it, you're gonna have to have it purged. And, and now we're on to all of this. Look at all this. We'll start at the top, work our way down. When you are at the campsite, we showed you a little switch inside. For cable TV, this is where you would take and plug in your coax. It's, it's just a piece of coax like you have at home. Down below, this is our 30 amp shore power. Real easy, you, we showed you the plug uh, over there. You can store it maybe over here because it's close. You just take and you go ahead and you turn that on and you twist and then you lock it into place. You go over to wherever you're plugging in, make sure the breakers are off, plug it in, turn the breakers on, give it a second because of the transfer switch in here. It's gonna take a few seconds. The transfer switch is gonna determine, am I getting my power from the 30 amp shore power? A am I getting janky juice as I like to call it? If you are, you're gonna get a little warning like, hey, you got some janky juice coming in. It's also the transfer switch is gonna know, oh, we got power coming from the generator. Okay, all right, that's cool. So this is going to be very smart and it's going to know where you're getting your power from. Uh, this is if you are going to flush your tank, you're going to take a completely different hose, not your fresh water hose. We're going to show you in a second. If you're going to flush your tank, we'll talk about draining your tanks in a second. This is your city water connection. So when you are at the campsite, you just take a hose like this for potable water and you go ahead and you connect that here. And then you take the other end and you connect it up to the faucet and then you just take and you go ahead and you turn it on and now you have city water. When you are using city water, you do not need to run your water pump. That is just for your tankless hot water out there. Uh, we have the slide out. That is an awning topper, a slide topper. Uh, up top, which is gonna keep debris from falling in and clogging up your slide. And then down here in this bay, this is where we do have our black tank and our gray tank. Uh, we have 31 gallons of fresh water. We do have a 25 gallon gray tank and an 18 and a half gallon black tank. What you're gonna do is you are going to take this end and then you're going to run it right up through here. And then you just take and you, there are locks on the side bayonet locks, you get that locked into place. Pull your black tank first, let all of that run through. The black is gonna be uh, your sewer from your toilet and then you're gonna pull your gray, that is gonna be from your sink and your shower and then that way that water will kind of clean it out and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna close them in the black tank and then you're gonna close the gray tank. Now your tanks are clean. Now you're ready to fill up the gas tank. 25 gallons of fuel here. This is where you do it, this just runs on regular right there, pull right up. It's really easy to remember, really easy to get into any gas station that you want. You do have, again, you can push your mirrors in right over here. And this, this is the Compass 24 KB. It is the newest floor plan. I absolutely love it. One of the great things about traveling in an RV like this is as I told you in the beginning, you can take it absolutely anywhere. So go out there, find your way in a compass because it's not about having time. 
It's about making time. I'm Steve DeVal, and we'll see you soon.